What's going on everybody? It's Metawar Jaken here and welcome to a World War Z multiplayer class guide. For this video we are going to be covering the Demolisher. Now for these videos I made a certain format to where I broke things up into three categories. The first one being the class bio, the second one being the skill tree, and the third one being the playstyle. Starting us off with this class's bio. The Demolisher is very much so a heavy hitting class. Starting off with the combat shotgun, this weapon has a good rate of fire, a fair amount of rounds, and can even two-shot people at mid-range. Moving on to talking about the pistol, the pistol is pretty basic. Decent damage output with medium range. The C4 is practically a jack of all trades. Being able to stick to surfaces, you can be a lot more sneaky with your placements versus a claymore. It may not have the throwing range of a grenade, but it can still be thrown pretty far nonetheless. To make up for its lack in throwing range, the C4 exceeds in its blast radius, having a bigger radius than both the claymore and the grenade. The C4 is very dangerous in pretty much all aspects. Due to you being able to select which perks you want in your skill tree, I won't be diving too deep into that field outside of discussing weapon upgrades. Deciding which skills you want to go with as a build is all personal preference. When it comes to unlocking the upgraded shotgun, you won't be able to tell too much of a difference outside of a slight increase regarding consistency in shots. Unlocking the SMG allows this class to work with more range. While you may not be able to shoot at long range, you are still able to take down enemies fairly quickly at close to even medium range. Now, let's conclude this guide with talking about this class's potential playstyle. As a warning, this is not to tell everyone that there is only one way of playing, so follow me. No, I'm just showing my gameplay and showing you all how this class could be proven to be viable. When playing as the Demolisher, I decided to stick with the SMG. Being able to work with more range, partnered with having something as strong as the C4 at my side, makes for high damaging plays. Plenty of times have I triggered my C4 while in a gunfight, or even while someone coming my way around a corner. You can play this class very passive aggressive, and that makes it to be very fun as well. And that about wraps it up for this World War Z multiplayer class guide. If you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like, and if you guys are interested in the other classes, be sure to definitely check out the playlist that I have created to watch the other class guides as well. This was Jaken, and I will see you guys in the comment section below along with the next video that I make. I'm out. Peace.